What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another uh, Let's Play series on the. Uh, in this channel, or in this episode, we are going to be playing Harvest Moon: Save the Homeland, uh, a childhood game of mine. Um, definitely one that's uh, very close to the heart. Uh, I really hope you guys do enjoy the series. Um, in uh, this game, essentially you are a farmer who took over your grandfather's farm, and you need to um, give a reason to the people that want to build a theme park there uh, on this land that you live on. Uh, you want to give them a reason to not build this theme park. So you need to do anything that you can do to make it so they don't build this theme park by talking to people, making the fence happen, and finding a secret ending to be able to uh, save the homeland. There's multiple different endings. In this ending, we are going to be going for the horse ending. Uh, here is, uh, is some stuff that we will be doing in the game. As you can see, the character is going to be uh, collecting some berries. Uh, that he can give to, as gifts later in the game. He's going to be talking to people, looking for events. Um, without further ado, guys, let's get right into the game. Let us start. Um, there is no uh, speaking in this game, so I will just be reading all of the... Um, uh, the words that are spoken into the game. So I will be just uh, narrating everything. Uh, double checking all this stuff, making sure we are good to go. That, this, perfect, this one. All right. Um. Perfect. Okay. Um, sorry about that, guys. Just making sure everything is all set up and that uh, the audio is all good. Uh, without further ado, let's go. A letter from Dad. Thank you, all three who are watching. Do you remember your grandfather's farm since he's passed away now? I'm thinking of giving it away. I heard that they're going to start building a theme park uh, next year. There's not much of his belongings left, but I want you to take care of the things that are still there. Also, go around and talk to the townspeople for me. Take care, Dad. This is our farm, guys. This is uh, our headquarters for uh, the whole game, right here. The barn. I wonder if there used to be lots of horses and cows here. This, mu this must be the silo where you keep the fodder. It seems to be empty now. This is the chicken coop. It's all dusty and worn down. Thank you all four who are watching. This chest smells old and musky. There's something that looks like a map of the town. I think I'll take it with me. Thank you all five. 
it's it's a dusty dusty bookshelf there are lots of books about farming there's also what appears to be grandpa's notes it's a really old tv set and it looks like there's still electricity There must be a good way. No, no, that won't work. But you said, isn't there a better idea? Unless we find a way, we'll have to move away from here. Ah, let me go. How can you see us? Who, who are you? We're the harvest spirits who live here. We're in real trouble if the forest and the lake disappear. We beg you, stop them from building the theme park here. We need your help to protect this place. Accept the request? Of course we have to. Impressive, I'm so impressed. What an admir uh, admirable Young man. Oh, it's the goddess. Goddess. You're such a good narrator. Thank you, I try to be. Nice to meet you. I'm the Harvest Goddess. I live at the Harvest Goddess Lake. What is your name? Well, my name? Hunter. Hunter. Minecraft sure looks different. Is his name okay? Yes. Minecraft definitely looks different. So, Hunter, I have a few questions for you. A puppy has abandoned has been abandoned in the rain. What would you do? We're gonna ignore it. No, of course we're gonna take it home. Someone has thrown trash on the ground. What would you do? In dead. Pick it up. Ariana's really dead. Does look different. Definitely looks different. You found someone else's money on the ground. What would you do? We're going to turn it in. What do you think? He's a good person. He seems too good be, to be true. The goddess is skeptical. You know, I read about a book that in the case of these kinds of questions, who cares? Let's just ask him. You're right. So please, do us this favor. You have been brought to this land as the savior of this town, yes it is fate that brought you here. The goddess is making it all up. She's trying to put him under a spell. There's nothing we can do but watch. Hunter, could you give this farm a name? Smith Farm.
perfect. Is his name okay? Yes. I see. So you wish to call the the Smith you wish to call it the Smith Farm. That's a lovely name. Whatever your grandfather left should be enough to get you started here. If there's anything you'd like to discuss with me, please visit me at the Harvest Goddess Lake in the forest. I feel that it's important to get along with the people first in order to save this village. Just talk to everyone. I'm sure a path will open for you if you do that. Named it after me. I named it after you, Ariana, yes. You can find us at the cave behind here. Beyond here. We'll talk to you later. Thanks. We'll come again. Alright guys, so uh, that's the introduction of the game. Um, I just want to say a huge thank you to you five who are here right now comments and definitely means a lot um, Some things that we can go over right now uh, This is where we save the games so diary status options So the status is going to show us, you know, our level of cow Chickens dog level horse level the amount of fishes that uh, fish that we've caught the date and the uh, how many power berries we have uh, the TV probably one of the most important things in the game it tells us what the forecast is most likely going to be the following day. So in this case, here is tomorrow's weather forecast. There's an 80% chance of rain. You should keep your animals inside. So we got to keep that in our mind. You know, potential rain chance tomorrow, 80%. So more than likely it's going to rain. Um, here in the calendar, the yellow days are like 50-50. It could rain, it could be dry. The blue days are more likely to be rainy days, uh, the rainy part of the month, uh, the season. There's uh, there's not specific months, it's, uh, it's, it all goes by seasons. And then from the 22nd to the 30th is the uh, hot part of the season. So those days are most likely going to be hot days, hot sunny days. Um, so, you know, you can kind of plan out your schedule on what you're going to do for those days. Um, knowing that it's going to be wet or dry. Um, without further ado, let's go on outside. Good morning, Hunter. Good morning. You're new here, so you have a lot to learn, Hunter. We've watched your grandpa, so we know a lot. We're going to teach you. This is where the dog food goes. Grandpa uses it to feed the stray dogs once in a while. If you put food in here, they might come back again. You till the soil here with the hoe, with the hoe here. Then you can sow, uh, sow your seeds. After you sow the seeds, you water them with the watering can. You can fill up your watering can at that well. The seeds will sprout if you water them every day. Keep watering and you'll get uh, vegetables. You can bring them to the shop and sell them to make money. This is where you keep chickens. You put the chicken feed in the, in, in the feed box. If you don't feed your chickens, they'll get sick. Chickens lay eggs. And if you put an egg in the incubator, the egg will hatch and you'll have a chick. A chick will grow up to be a chicken. Let them out if the weather is nice. The chickens eat and get full if you leave them outside for a while. If the chicken gets full outside, you don't have to put food in the feed box for them. This is the and this is the pasture. 
If you cut long grass three times with your sickle, you get one unit of fodder. You'll need the fodder to feed your horses and cows. If you leave them out for a while on a sunny day, they'll just eat the grass. But it's not easy to push a cow out the door. This is where you keep your livestock, like your horses and cows. If you leave the fodder in the boxes, they'll eat it. They'll get sick if you don't feed them. Cows like it when you talk to them and brush them. The cows that you are really good friends with will give you good milk. You can only get milk from big cows. A cow can give birth to a calf if you use a, a cow miracle potion on her. They're really cute. A cow will become friendly with you faster if you raise her as a calf, but a pregnant cow doesn't give milk. Horses like it too when you talk to them and brush them. If you become, uh, if you become friendly with a horse, you'll be able to ride on him. The better buddies you are, the faster he'll run. This is basically how Grandpa was doing his work. At times, you'll need money to live here too. Hunter, good luck. So I'll give you guys a quick tour. So, uh, the food bowl for the dog. This is the chicken coop over here. We would put the um, chicken feed in these boxes. We could have a maximum of six chickens at one time. This is the barn over here. So our horse would go here and then our cows can go all over here. This is where uh, those little creatures live in that hole back there. This is the pasture, not looking too nice right now, but uh, will look good in the future. And this is where we are going to do our planting. Um, without further ado guys, we, um, we need to get money in this game in order to buy a variety of things. From dog houses, to a kitchen, to a sickle, to cows. So we need to make money, so we're going to do a part time job at Brownie Farm. Um, but on our way there, we're going to hit up some of the spots that we can uh, visit. Um, Ronald Supermarket is open 8, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., closed on Sundays. So unfortunately, right now, he is closed only for another couple of minutes. Um, we are going to need to buy an egg from him in order to start our chickens. Um, it's a lot cheaper to buy a chicken from him. And here is our first um, uh, townspeople that we have seen. Nice to meet you. I've heard about you and your farm. This town might be gone in a year, but good luck to your farm. I'm Lewis. It's been a pleasure, Hunter. Over here is the tool shop. It's locked right now. Uh, Lewis owns the tool shop, and this is Lewis's house. Um, over here we have the flower shop. It's also locked. Over here, it is closed on Sundays. It's open 9 to 5. So we will have to remember that. And this is the lady that owns it. Hello. Nice to meet you. I didn't think we would be getting any visitors here. Oh, your name is Hunter? Good luck with the, your farm. So over here is Brownie Farm. Uh, it opens at 8 o'clock. And luckily, 8.30 right now. Uh, let's talk to Bob. Hey, what's up? Are you the new owner of that farm? I'm Bob. I run Brownie Farm. Nice to meet you. The enthusiasm is real. Oh, what did someone say? The enthusiasm is real. I really like this game. What can I say? It's a childhood game right here. Part-time work wanted. Come work with animals. Looking for young, motivated workers. 50G an hour plus bonuses. 
apply at the counter. Uh, before we apply at the counter. Best reader I've ever heard. Uh oh, what'd someone else say? Best reader I've ever heard. I'm a terrible reader, by the way. Um, so if we wanted to, we can buy fodder. Uh, we will never buy a single unit of fodder in this game. We have the pasture to make our own fodder. We will be buying chicken feed later in the game. Um, but not at this moment. Um, this is the uh, miracle potion for the cow. Uh, we will not be using that any time in the game. But animal medicine, we will be. Well, hopefully, we won't have to use it, but we will always have one on hand. The cow, 2500. Uh, G, um, I think the G is for gold. We'll call it gold. Um, and a chicken is 500. But instead of buying a chicken for 500, we can buy an egg for 50 uh, gold. And, uh, and raise it ourselves. Um, that's all the show for here. So let's talk to Bob. What do you want? Do part-time work. You want to do part-time work, all right? You can use our tools. Want me to explain? Sure, it's our first time. Let's, uh, let's hear what he's got to say. Well, I want you to, uh, what I want you to do is brush the animals, select the tool, with the R2 button, press the X button to equip it, and then the square button to use it. The same goes for the milker. But after you equipped it, remember to be nice to the animals and don't forget to put fodder in the boxes. When you are done, come and tell me. Well, I'm counting on you. Alright guys, so you're going to be seeing this quite a bit in this game because uh, we need some money at the very beginning of the game. But we have another townspeople or townsperson that we can talk to right here. Are you the strange guy who moved into that farm? Well, whatever. Good luck. She's not too friendly with us, but unfortunately the ending that we're doing, we need to be friendly with her. So we will be definitely talking to her a lot more throughout this gameplay. Uh, so here are the, the, uh, the animals. Uh, you gotta talk to the animals, brush the animals, and then milk the cow. You can't milk the horse, of course. So let's talk to the animal. I'm looking forward to giving, uh, to getting good milk from you. Let us equip the milker. Milk the cow. So there's different sizes of milk. There's small, medium, large, and then gold. Um, this cow will only ever give us a small milk. Um, better than nothing. Um, with the ending, like I said, we are going to be going for the horse ending. Um, I wonder if it'll bite me. I, sorry, I forgot to read it. Um, so, in order to get the horse ending, we're going to need a horse. In order to get a horse, you need to care to one of the horses more than the others, and Bob will give it to you as a gift. Um, I particularly like this brown or black horse more than the others, so that's the one we're going to go with. So, I'll brush him twice, while I'll only brush the other ones one time. Uh, again, we'll talk to the horse. I wonder if he will bite me brush and now we are on to the next I wonder if he'll bite me brush I wonder if he'll bite me brush again and I wonder if he'll bite me brush perfect so us giving more attention to one of the horses will allow uh, Bob to realize that we like that horse more than the others and he will give it to us in a couple of days time. Um, over here, this is fodder. This is what the horses and cows eat. Um, if you remember, Bob asked us to feed the horses on top of uh, talking to them, brushing them, and milking the cow. Um, I put all the fodder into my pouch because it's just a lot quicker to um, to go to the bins after we just have it all on us. Nice and simple, go over to the fodder and place it down. So there is five, oops, uh, there is five uh, horses and one cow and every day we are able to take um, eight fodder. So at the end of the day, we can realistically have two extra fodder um, that we can use for our own farm. Um, the horse ending, like I was saying before, when we get our horse, 
we need to do three laps around this pit over here. So the, uh, the route that I'm going, we're going to need to run this in, I believe, 52 seconds. We have to do three laps. And um, if we complete it in that time, um, Bob will place our horse into the national competition for the horse race. And then um, if we win, we uh, we get to save the homeland because they'll they'll host at the next horse race at um, at this village. Um, so that is the ending we are going for. Uh, Bob is saying, "Are we done for today? We are done. Here's your pay for today: 320 gold. You can have the milk too. You did good work today. Perfect." Um, we'll do a little bit more touring because we are on the side of town. Over here is Bob's house. Bob has a little brother called Tim. Uh, Tim is not here at the moment though, so we can't check out Tim. Uh, no Tim. That's okay. We'll see him eventually. Um, this game has a lot of cycles that you need to get, right? So, um... Certain people come out on certain days, and certain shops are only open on certain days. Oh, look at the dog. This is the dog that we are going to be trying to get in the game. In order to get him, we need to put food in our uh, the dog bowl outside of the house every single morning. And uh, eventually, one day, we'll be able to pick him up. And then he will be ours, and then we will be able to do uh, different endings in the game because we have the dog that we need to have a good relationship with in order to get some of the endings. Um, some more people out here. Let's talk to them. Hello there, dear. I've never seen you before. Uh, where are you from? Oh, you're Tony's grandson, Hunter. My name is Martha. Nice to meet you. Um, all this foliage that you guys see me picking up, it all could be dog food later in the game or gifts to people, so we're going to pick up as much of it as we can. Hello, I've never seen you before. Are you a tourist? No, I do not need to know your name. I will, uh, you won't be here for long anyways. Will you? You don't need to know my name either. Perfect. Okay, so we know about them. Um, let's go inside real quick. Uh, another thing about the time in the game, guys, as you can see, um, time does not s uh, slow down, speed up um, when we are in a building. So we can really talk, uh, sit here and talk in this building as long as we want because there's no time restraint. Uh, how do you do? My name is Gina. You must be Mr. Hunter. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, and there's nothing upstairs in this house. Let's continue. So, of course, um, we need to get the horse as quick as possible. And we would like to get the dog as quick as possible also. Uh, nice companions to have with us. Um, let's keep going. Hopefully we can get into the flower shop. Hopefully it's not closed. Let's see. All right. Perfect. Let us sell some stuff. No, we don't have anything to sell to her. Um, she gives a couple of things for us to do. Um, we are going to buy corn though. Corn is um, one of the best crops in the game. Um, because we can, what do we need? We need this, yeah. So we can buy 12 corn, um, because it, it takes, uh, it takes the longest to grow, but it can be reharvested time after time after time. So we don't have to replant it, which saves us time. Um, as you saw, we saved, uh, a little bit more than 50 gold. Oh, here's Tim. Let's talk to Tim. Hi, I'm Tim. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Big guy. Oh, you moved to the farm? Good. Good luck. We're going to use Tim in a, in a different ending. He is used in the treasure hunt ending. 
perfect weekend in the supermarket. Um, here is our next townsperson. Hi, you must be the kid who's visiting Tony's farm. I thought you were just picking up his stuff. You're going to be running his farm, did you say? Well, nice to meet you. I'm Ronald. Ronald, let us buy something from you. We are going to buy an egg. One single egg from you. Perfect. We can sell something. Uh, we cannot sell the egg or the milk to Ronald, though, unfortunately. Which is fine. Um, we're not dying for money yet. So, in this game, um, you can make money a, different, a variety of different ways. Between farming, um, selling milk, selling eggs. Um, right from the start of the game, it's nice and easy for us to just uh, plant some crops. Uh, if you remember, we just bought uh, 12 corn, I believe. Look at that, we found uh, 10 gold right in our yard. Um, I believe we can sell corn for 120 uh, per uh, piece of corn. So it's uh, definitely nice and convenient where, you know, we can plant this today and in a couple of days make some money off of it. Um, sun is going down, guys. As you can see, we're going to try to finish this up. You can't work uh, too late in the game. Uh, thank you all six who are watching. You can't work too late. Um, if you work too late, your guy becomes tired. If you become tired, you will not be able to... Uh, you have to uh, rest in bed the whole next day. Which is uh, definitely not pleasant because now you lose a whole day worth of work that you can potentially do. Um, if you have animals, they can get sick because you didn't feed them because you were sick yourself. Um, a little rule of thumb that I usually go by is 11 o'clock is my cutoff date. Um, check the time. It's almost 8. Trying to get as much of these crops planted um, before we go to bed. Um, if you guys remember earlier, oh, we found a rare metal. Perfect. That's a nice little start right there. Um, oh, dude's getting a little tired. Let us plant these just in case if he passes out. Every day at the end of the day, we are hoping to have as little energy as possible, meaning that we can get the most amount of work done in uh, in the in the days that we're we are given um, Let us do some more of this Plant these uh, Corn is worth more to me than the potatoes that the game give us gives us So that's why we are planting those before the potatoes Time check 947 so we got about another hour in the game. Perfect. We got any more corn? Nope. Just potato. One and two. Water. Perfect. Water. Perfect. So that is all that we really needed to get done today. Um, you can give anything as dog food. So we're just going to put that in there. Um, time check, 10.42, hoe, we're going to hoe those two, and that is going to call it for the day. Um, remember, we always got to check the weather, we usually check it in the morning, but just to remind you guys, tomorrow's forecast, there's an 80% chance of rain, uh, you should keep your animals inside. Fortunately for us, we don't have any animals. So we don't need to bring anything in or out. Um, we are going to save the file, of course, because um, of the start. We're going to use this green one. Um, the other two saves are from uh, previous playthroughs that I was doing. The, uh, the data will be saved. Is this okay? Yes. 
saving Smith farm perfect so as it said it was going to rain and it is most definitely raining here's tomorrow's weather forecast there's a 0% chance of rain it will be a lovely shiny day perfect so at least tomorrow we know it's going to be raining or it'll be sunny so we can uh, work on part time or uh, on days that it's raining there is no work at brownie farm which is unfortunate um, this early in the game because uh, we need as much money as we can get right from the start um, so normal routine we will put that into the dog bowl and check up on our plants uh, of course you don't need to um, water your plants if it is raining outside because they automatically get watered this is our sickle um, we're going to do a little bit of this today just to get some fodder not going to go crazy um, but we're also looking for a power berry that power power berry is going to give us more energy um, look at that perfect um, we're going to eat that that's actually really got them perfect guys we didn't spend that much energy and we got one um, so the power berry um, essentially if you were able to use you know just say 50 units of energy eating that power berry gives you an extra boost whatever it may be 10 15 20 whatever it is and um, of course that helps you in the long run where you can do now more in a given day uh, today is Wednesday um, so some places are open and some are closed we're gonna go to the other side of the map so you guys can see this side unfortunately because it's raining uh, there is going to be no one outside for the most part um, as usual we are going to grab um, this foliage outside should be some flowers over here yep now these flowers can be as gifts they can be for dog food they have a lot of very good uh, usages let us go up into here alright so uh, here's that girl again it just doesn't stop raining um, we need her for the ending that we are doing so we need to give her gifts so we are befriended with her which will uh, make the next event start in the game oh I like this a lot it's sweet and tangy uh, this guy who are you what are you doing here in the mountains oh you're his grandson it's too late to come and live here this town might be become history pretty soon so um, like I said before guys there's some things that we can buy in the game kitchen and doghouse the kitchen being 10,000 gold and the doghouse being 5,000 gold um, we don't need either of them you can get through the game without either of them but it definitely helps out and gives a little bit more character to the game um, here is a rare metal that we had uh, hoed the other day so we can sell that so now we have 200 and that is all that we have um, 200 is better than nothing because now we are going to be able to buy some more flat or uh, some more uh, crops um, preferably we are going to be buying uh, corn and uh, and putting that in to make as much money as quick as possible here is the other side of the map so this over here is the sunny garden cafe open noon to 5 p.m. close on Mondays some more uh, berries that we can pick over here now these berries are worth a little bit more than those uh, those other berries um, that we usually see so they're worth a little bit more and I believe they also give you a little bit more energy as well uh, we're gonna talk to this guy because he's going to give us a fishing rod later in the game hey you don't look familiar you can't possibly be um, be here on vacation um oh so you're that got old guys farm uh, old farmer guys grandson you're here to collect stuff 
I'm Joe, by the way. I don't think we'll know each other for a long time, but nice to meet you. Um, so same thing. Uh, since we need to get the fishing rod from him, we're going to give him gifts until eventually he'll give us a fishing rod, and then we will never talk to him again until we do his ending. These remind me of when I was a kid. We will go in here. It's locked. How do you get in but not us? Alright, we'll come back. Over here, some more, uh, some stuff that we can pick up. Now, all the stuff that we're picking up, we can also sell all of it. Um, it's only worth like 10 to 30 uh, gold. So it's really not worth it for the most part, where like if you sell a milk, it's 150. Uh, nice cutscene for the Harvest Goddess up here, guys. Hunter. <clears throat> over here, over here. The Harvest Goddess likes, uh, Lake is here. You should come and talk to the Goddess whenever you are feeling lost or having a problem so you're going to tell them you're going you're going to tell you how to summon the goddess you have to offer something that you have like flowers or berries use the X button to pick up or throw things what what can I do for you Hello, goddess. Oh, hunter. Have you come up with a good idea? Please, cooperate with the townspeople, with the, with the people, and save this town. To make friends with people, just be assertive, and talk to them. Give gifts. Giving gifts are good, too. On a side note, I like vegetables. Good luck. Everyone has to work together. So, if you run into a problem, come by whenever. Actually, during the day is better for time for me. Toodles. We're leaving too. Bye bye. So those guys right there, their names are Nick, Knack, and Flack. They're all over the place in the game. Let us grab some of this stuff. We do need to get back to the um, the flower shop to uh, to buy some more uh, corn because, of course, the quicker we get as much corn in as possible, the uh, the quicker we are going to be able to buy our doghouse, the kitchen. Um, the light sickle. Here's the other dog. Um, I prefer to have the other dog, the blue dog, more. Um, this guy right here, we are going to give him items because he is going to eventually give us a flute that we are going to be able to train our dog with. So, uh, so it's best to get, uh, get it in early now that we can, uh, talk to him and uh and start building a good relationship with them wow thank you very much regular talk it's not good for me if i don't get some exercise um so of course you can talk to everyone which builds a uh, relationship and then you can give a gift which also builds uh, a relationship hi i've never seen you before oh you must be tony's grandson are you going to work on his farm oh i see so that's uh, so what's your name how old are you where are you from okay so you're hunter nice to meet you I'm Katie and I'm 16 years old then we got this old guy over here hi nice to meet you I'm Wallace I run the cafe and bar so where are you from I see so you're here for your grandfather's farm you're Tony's grandson huh well, good luck. 
Um, while we are here, I believe we can sell some of the stuff that we have. Let's sell the herbs. The herbs. We can. We don't want to sell the egg. We should have planted that in the bin yesterday too. Sell that, and I believe that is it that we can sell. Yep. All right. Um. This is the dog that we want to get. So, anytime we can, run up to the dog, click X, and uh, and eventually he'll allow us to uh, hold them and then he'll be, he will be ours. Um, unfortunately, today wasn't the day. Um, we'll give it another day, uh, a couple of days, and eventually that, uh, that dog will be ours. Um, so we are going to go on back to the flower shop to attempt to buy some more crops. Um, so we can get as much money as quick as possible. Um, the other ways to make money are doing the part-time work at Brownie Farm, but you can only make like 570 in a day. Whereas if we sold three corn, it comes out to be um, to be about the same. Let us buy corn as much as we are allowed to buy three uh, three sixty. So another twelve right there. Can we sell anything? We can sell moon drop. Um, let's sell four of them because then we can get an extra two um, two corn. Perfect. We should have no money. That is perfect for me. Uh, let us go on back home. So we got to remember to plant the, or not plant, uh, incubate the egg so we can get that chicken going. I should have done that yesterday, just forgot to do it. And of course with today being a rainy day, it's perfect because now we don't have to, um, um, water our plants or crops put the egg in there and in about two or three days we will have ourselves a chick time check 4 uh, 28 all right ho a blue rock I wish we had this a little bit earlier we could have uh, bought probably an extra seed or two uh, green for corn perfect now there's also another one of those power berries in this uh, in these fields right here um, hopefully we can get that one also as well as the one that we found in the uh, pasture earlier we found a copper ore this is all good stuff that we can sell for some quick money uh, dude's getting a little tired. Alright, let's plant these. Before he gets too tired and won't be able to work. Uh, don't want to step on our crops. Potentially could uh, mess them up. So all these uh, crops that we are planting right now can potentially get uh, harvested multiple times. Um, dude's looking a little tired, so let's uh, eat this. Uh, still looking tired. Oops. Copper ore. Don't want to overexert, so we will do this and that. How many more do we have? We have two more. Let's rough it out. 
Can't do it. All right. Um, we could eat one of these again. Let us eat another berry. Just trying to get the most out of every single day, guys. And especially these first days are critical. Especially with this rain that is uh, helping us today. Uh, so that's everything. That's all we can do for today. Hopefully we'll get lucky and our guy won't be 